All right, guys, uh, let me make it nice and clear and short. So we have a best-selling Pioneer Twitter right here, and this is uh, from the Dev Ones. Uh, this is a Super Twitters, and I have from DS18, cheapest Twitter, right? Which one you buy? So by the specs, as you can see, the Pioneer advertised 100 watts RMS power on this little tiny speaker. Look at the magnet size, right? 100 watts RMS power, plays from 1,400 hertz to 65,000 hertz. That's crazy. Only the Focals make like a high, high play in the Twitters and they charge like top premium money, but the Pioneer is gonna give you 65,000 hertz playing and they're not charging that much money. Now, uh, if you def bounce, as you can see, this is plays from the 4,000 hertz, so it's gonna play a lot cleaner than Pioneer at the lower side, but the high side is gonna be only the 20,000 hertz. So by the spec, this is a 35 watt RMS speaker twitter and this one is a 100 watt twitter right so the maximum it says 450 watts but it's gonna you're gonna burn if you give the 100 watts rms power for twitter you're gonna burn it like three seconds right by the specs that's why i'm always saying on my channel guys if you buying stuff reading the specs that's for example this guy is gonna go guard only 35 watts rms power 4 ohm plays from 4000 hertz to 20,000 hertz nothing fancy nothing cool and it's no power at all uh this one is the cheapest twitter i told you guys so you can add for any any speakers and you're gonna have very very good output but we're gonna see it's like the, the, this Twitter I don't know I put the links on the description but it was cheapest Twitter but it was uh, sounding very very good let's play a couple music and I'm gonna I'm uh, gonna compare it I have a two speakers as you can see I have a Pioneer here these tweeters are brighter uh, than the Hyanka I just recently test this Hyanka side by side and I'm gonna test this Hyanka with the amplifier all that stuff cheap cheap speaker from Amazon but it's performing very very good so watch my other videos right Right, so let me play some music guys. Let me start from Pioneer. Okay, the Pioneer playing right now. So you don't hear any difference because this is the most flatter playing speaker outperform the Twitter, right? So you have to install this Twitter LR higher, the closer to you to hear this, able to hear this Twitter, right? Now I'm gonna give you the exact same portion, right? With the cheapest Twitter. So as you can see, the DS18, you can hear a little bit clarity, like a high. So I'm going to play everything separate. You just don't rush the guys. So I'm going to give you each uh, Twitter how they, they play it, right? So now we're going to, the worst specs in the bunch, right? This is a dev bunch. This is a pro Twitter. But let's play the Twitters itself. As you can see, their bonds, as soon as you connect, you hear, hear the difference, right? It's it's making some difference. Now, we're gonna play each Twitter without the speaker. We're gonna turn off the speaker right here, all right? Watch my uh, the review about this, uh, the cheap unit. It's <laughs> It works very, very nice. All right, so what are we gonna do? We're gonna connect this guy here. And right, now it's gonna start. If I find a good product, I always share with you, my brother. So, P-Protein from what company? LA Pura. I never heard this company, but when I tried it, actually it's working because it's a plant-based natural products without any additives, any uh, synthetic additives, GMOs, all the, you know, you know the soy. The reason why I get them flavored, well, you can, you can add with the anything, any food. You want to add the extra protein with the smoothies, with the ice cream. I, I make with the fruit. I, I eat like ice cream, so I really enjoy the taste, right? It's really, really good. Uh, the taste is doesn't like stick out like other other companies and it's gonna add tons of amino acids because the plant base is a clear pure amino acids usually when you get the good protein shakes you're gonna feel after two weeks you have to take two grams per body or the weight right the protein on this one for five pounds it's gonna actually is a 91 serving so very very good price to weight ratio though right so you're gonna enjoy it very very nice product on the market you know where to buy it all right, this is how the DS18 plays. All the highs, just the highs, too high. But here we're gonna play Pioneer. Ooh.
it, it plays from 1400 hertz that's why you can hear every notes on the uh the twitter right on the music or right, watch this one without the capacitor that's the way to burn the twitter if you want to burn like a killer right away the twitter so you can connect here uh this twitter is like a 35 rms power but as you can see it's performance way 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 better than any of these tweeters i'm gonna com compare this twitter with the lot higher the more expensive tweeters but here's the deal so now we're gonna play the different music and we're gonna run at the higher volume let's see if this twitter is gonna be opens up on what i have I think this music is good. All right, we're gonna do louder. We're gonna from fun, uh, finer. As you can see the pioneer you can hear any difference even this uh the hyanka twitter is a lot lower than uh, the pioneer twitters it plays a little bit flatter but you can add any notes for the speaker like even your speakers uh the place a little bit flat right now we're gonna play the same part with this pro audio <laughs> As you can see, way way nicer output, a lot clearer. This as of course this tweeters, even the 35 RMS power, right? The sensitivity is a lot higher. Well, 106. So you can play with the a lot bigger pro audio speakers, right? Mid range, mid uh, the, from the deaf one speakers, right? Now let's add this guy, the cheapest guy. <laughs> So yeah guys if you're using the pioneer twitters let us know the comment below how these guys performing on your setup and if you like them or if you want to change it if you're using the ds18 please guys let us know also in the comments right let's talk about these units how you guys running so as you can see the pioneer 94 db a uh, sensitivity it has a lot higher sensitivity than this but it, in the real life it plays lower than this yeah the place from 1400 to 69,000 hertz which is i don't hear any you know clear but this guy it uh, doesn't advertise nothing with like just a pure garbage right but it's <laughs> outperforming all these uh you know similar prices of course i'm going to compare this twitter i know it's when when i get this twitter i know it's going to be performing very very like in the next level so i'm going to compare this tweeter i'm going to add to the you know pro audio speakers and i'm going to show you a lot different versions right how this tweeters you can apply but the size wise the pioneer comes with the old you know installation brackets that's a good plus but this one is doesn't have it you have to make a hole or you have to make a bracket to install but again this is a pro audio guys and this one is also it comes with the tiny uh, installation manual uh the bracket or just a you know double stick like this and that's it you ready to go right so without amplifier just a you know add-on it's on for the na speakers any dash on the, the place very very cheap additive you can just add it you're not gonna get uh, you know super super sound quality quality uh the pioneer i don't know where to stick is a pioneer if you have a pioneer system it's a six ohm it's good you can just a parallel run any speakers with the four ohm you're not gonna hurt any amplifiers any head units you just run it you just connect this without any problem right so yeah this is my review guys what do you guys think comment below if you didn't subscribe to my channel definitely subscribe it i'm gonna run these tweeters with the side by side with a lot bigger ones smaller ones and this is my review of db death bounce uh, this is Mashera series, right? Yeah, Death Bounce Mashera tweeters. And again, another another proof. I keep proving on my channel. Don't read too much specs when you're buying. Try to uh, find the honest YouTube channel like mine. We always give you 100% side by side. You guys asking a lot of uh, the speakers. Mike, what about what do you think about this speaker? What do you, if I don't put, if I test, if I touch, if I if I don't smell these speakers, I never give any suggestions any reviews so i have to test side by side i have to amplify them without amplifier all that stuff and yeah i'm gonna give you my honest review i'm out also in the next video guys